All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we are looking at yet another Fusion Pendulum Dragon. It's been a while since you actually fused, but when he did, it came out of nowhere. It was literally like, oh, I'm going to fusion summon into Brave Eyes. Like, who? And then Brave Eyes was like, oh, well, I'm going to attack it. I'm going to go for game and I'm going to, you know, fuck up freaking Phoenix. And then he got blocked and died immediately. Like, we really didn't see what Brave Eyes could really do because as soon as he attacked with it, it got destroyed. So, and we haven't seen it since. But uh, we actually got the real card. I'm assuming that this will probably be on the the front card the, on the set. What set is it in? It's in Raging Tempest. Yeah, I could I could possibly see this card as the you know the cover card for Raging Tempest, which I don't think we're getting until like February. So we got we got we got a cool minute to wait. But uh, anyway, this is Brave Eyes Pendulum Dragon. It's a dark dragon fusion effect monster. Level eight, three thousand attack, two thousand defense. That's are fine. Made with one Pendulum Dragon monster. Alright, so it doesn't even have to be Odd Eyes, it's just any Pendulum Dragon monster. Uh, plus, uh, but in the name, not, not not like a monster that's a Pendulum and a Dragon type, like the name, in the name, Pendulum Dragon. So, you know, it could be Odd Eyes, Pendulum Dragon, Ruin Eyes, whatever, just, you know, Beast Eyes, as long as it's Pendulum Dragon in the name monster, plus one Warrior type monster. Uh, trying to think, is there really any Warriors that you play in the deck? Like, off the top of my mind, like, everybody's, like... I was thinking, like, maybe Skullcrusher, but, you know, he's a spellcaster, so... Sorcerer, he's a, honestly, he's a spellcaster, too. Like, who's a warrior in that deck? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Are you actually gonna have to go out of your way and throw in a warrior? Like, the only warrior I could think of where you're running and, like, is maybe, like, Dark Draco Pals, where you go summon Armageddon Knight to send, like, Zephyr, so Zephyr can return your monkey board, so you can play it again and get an additional search, because that's not stupidly broke. But, uh... Armageddon X Warrior, so I guess. <laughs> and then you just Odd Eyes featuring your Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon with the Armageddon Knight to summon this. But is it worth it? Let's see. Uh, when this card is fusion summoned, you can make the attack of all monsters your opponent con currently controls become zero. Wow. Wow. So I hit the field, all your monsters become zero. And uh, also, other monsters your opponent. Uh, Monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of the turn. All right, so I guess that's fair. You're dropping if you're dropping everybody to zero. It's only fair that you know no other monsters can attack except this. So you're gonna attack, get at least three thousand because that that could easily OTK if you could drop all your opponent's monsters to zero and you you know have mass summoning or mass monster on the field, especially with the pendulum mechanic. Like, sh oh my god, just die. Uh, the interesting thing about this thing is that it doesn't say till the end of the turn. So when I summon, I drop a whole bunch of your monsters to zero. They're stuck at zero. Which is pretty interesting. It's actually pretty interesting. Now, of course, I can only attack one. You take three thousand next turn. You just turn into defense mode. Unless I have some kind of piercing, you'll you'll be okay. Your monsters will still be at zero, but you know, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Uh, negate the activated effects of all monsters with zero attack. Okay, so you drop everybody zero. They're stuck at zero, and while they're on the field, they're attacking zero. But activate negate the effect of all. Uh, negated effects of all monsters with zero attack but it doesn't say where so you know what's really fucked up is that uh, yeah this this can kind of fuck you out because uh, it's, at least it's activated effect so uh, you bell's effects are continuous the can't be destroyed battle I take no battle doings that's continuous you can't negate that but let's say for example you know you have this on the field right I have you bell you hit me with regeki right Negate the activated effects of all monsters with zero. Even with Yubel in the graveyard, she's still technically zero attack. She's going to activate to summon, but nope, negated. So, wow, so it just fuck my Yubel, huh? <laughs> but no, no, that's a, that's a pretty cool combo that you summon, you drop it by zero, and then even if you can't kill all of them, because this is the only monster that can, that can attack on that turn, they're, they're, while they're still on the field, their activated effects, they're still negated because they will be permanently at zero attack as long as they're on the field, unless uh, you do something and change the attack otherwise. And it also has another effect. At the end of the damage step, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, but that opponent's monster is not destroyed by battle, you can banish that opponent's monster. Damn! Fuck my Ubel, huh? That, that, that's literally what it is. So, of course, like I said, my can't be destroyed by battle and I take no battle damage, that doesn't activate. So, you can't negate that. So, you attack into Ubel and it's like, oh, negate your effect. Like, nope, activate effects. Ubel's not destroyed, but, ah, at the end of the damage step, I attacked you. You want to destroy my battle? Banish. Like, Damn! <laughs> all right, all right, and, and like really, like you drop this on terror, and I'm fucked because I have terror, right? You're attacking me, but I can't be destroyed by battle. I take no battle damage. At the end of the damage step, 
banish, which usually Terra is like, hey, I'm removed from the field, even by banishing, I'm a small time here, but nope, negate the active effects of all monsters zero attack, that includes Terra Incarnate, it's negated, I don't get Ultimate Nightmare, like, wow, <laughs> like, just rip me, because that's totally what I need is for a uh, pendulum based deck on ice and all that shit against to be able to kick the shit out of me even more, like, alright, alright, so, Overall, this is a pretty strong card. Like, this is this is a good card. This is a good card. Like, so if you can find a warrior to put in the deck with your odd ice deck, and like I said, I'm thinking maybe Armageddon Night shenanigans, then I think he's worth the summon. You know, odd ice fusion. Totally worth the summon. Uh, and with the strength of this card, yeah, I can definitely see this card being the cover card of the set of Raging Tempest. So tell me what you guys think about Brave Eyes Pendulum Dragon in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.